I would call on our executive director, Mr. Sertotin, to do a presentation which also encompasses an audio version of the puzzle series for special persons so that they can understand and know um, what the project is all about. So, Mr. Sertotin, kindly do us the honest. With the support of the Society Initiative of West Africa, ECWA, um, we have translated the Child and Family Welfare Policy 2015 into the Braille version um, so that the visually impaired would have access to that. If we're talking about inclusion and they have no means of um, reading the printed document and the policy document, then it's already exclusion. So we have that with the support of the CIWA, we privilege to have done this. Uh, we have a Q&A and that uh, the full and excerpts of the document as well. Here it's just summarized. Uh, we've had presentations at the school. We've trained the school leadership as well so that they themselves will be guided by the policies to lead the various schools. Uh, so that I would want to present this to you. Uh, so in terms of multimedia, I mean, we have been championing uh, social injustice for the longest time. Uh, whether it comes to special children, whether it comes to domestic violence, whether it comes to uh, any issues regarding uh, with the women and, and children, I mean, we have been championing it and we will continue to champion it. So that's why when Youth Bridge, Youth Bridge Foundation came to us, we were openly welcome them and then partner with them. I think, as you know, media have a big role to play. Uh, aside from the political news that we always, uh, you know, uh, championing, but I think the social is equally important. Any of us can be physically challenged at any time. People sleep and wake up disabled. There's an accident and you'll be disabled. Anything can make any of us disabled at one point or the other. So if by God's grace we are not, and we are enjoying the full life, we should think for those who are not like us. I would like to thank God, the media, and the Honorable Minister for the opportunity given to me to even be in this meeting. In fact, after I gave birth to Gideon, it wasn't easy at all. Both of his hands and legs had been bent over. He couldn't even sit well. I was told he won't be able to walk. His upbringing was a challenge, but by God's grace, the church came through. I was unemployed, and his father had also lost his job. Taking care of him became difficult. His legs have been operated on. It's left with his hands. I would like to encourage all parents not to give up on their children who may be physically challenged. Be conscious of the needs of the child. I didn't know I would get to this point because of Gideon, by God's grace. When I gave birth to him, people advised me to get rid of him. How do I get rid of him when I am not the one who created him? I encourage all parents that when they are faced with similar challenges, they should have faith in the child, pray to God for help to attain the heights he wants them to attain. I thank God very much.